I've done a bunch of research and with the help of you guys, I've learned a bunch about this M7 here today. And we're going to get into it a little bit because this could be our M7 or it could actually be big board to an M8. We got to figure that out. I'm still looking for the Exciter 2 and the Phaser 2. Stop sending me Alpines. Oh, here's an Alpine. Here's an Alpine. Here's an Alpine. What, you, you guys really think I want more of those things? Uh oh. Yeah, we don't need any more Alpines. One is lots. But never mind that for now. Back to the M7. Our M7 that actually could be an M8. Last episode, we got the diamond drive out of there. I didn't really care about that when I bought it. Here it is. This is what happens when you run your diamond drive drive fluid. You guys did want me to break this apart and show you the uh, screwed up planetary gear. We'll see how welded this uh, pickup gear is into the orbital gear here. All right, pickup gear, teeth completely stripped off by all those smaller gears that orbit it. And here's the part that I keep talking about. Yeah! Here is that planetary gear assembly. It's a lot of moving parts. Usually these won't float around, but not one of these survived. There's what your planetary gear looks like. And then that sits inside of that. Then this sits inside this housing. Gears orbit around in there. And they orbit around the center of this pickup gear whichever way it goes in be like this so that's how it's supposed to work if uh, it still had teeth and bearings and bushings this is the complete planetary gear assembly so this is everything that goes on in those diamond drives today's the day we find out is this an 800 big bore or do we got a 700 race motor on our hands i did a bunch of research with that cylinder head on there it is an rk tech head um that cylinder head is available for the 700 and the 800 so that's not necessarily a tell-all if it's going to tell us the displacement of our engine we're actually going to need to pop open that head and find out if this is going to be our race motor or our 800 big board i keep saying race motor with the 700 because that's originally really what that 700 was designed for it was a race motor it was put in f7s and built on that architecture that suzuki architecture there is no reason that this sled and this motor should have gone this fast. This engine is set up to be actually an 800 big bore. It has everything that it would need to get it up to that 180 horsepower range. We just have to pop open the head. Well, we got our fuel controller. We got the twin pipes on it, as well as that RK Tech head that's in there. The story was when I bought it that the engine had actually been redone. And if this engine did in fact blow up, switching it off to an 800 big bore might actually be the cheaper way to go about things you don't have to buy new cylinders you can send them away get them rehoned for a bigger piston that's what we did with the alpine that's what we had to do with that i think the neighborhood is way too quiet today it's fired up let's hear it run again we'll let it rat a tat tat away for a while This is that RK Tech head. Now this head could go either way. It could be a 700 or an 800 head. Now I can measure it through the exhaust port, but I keep getting mixed results doing that. 
No, that's not even gonna work. How those uh, exhaust ports and the transfer uh, transfer ports are lined up, I'm not gonna be able to get an accurate measurement this way. Off with its head! Big can for big jobs. What was I doing? Drain coolant. Big heat exchanger means big mess. Why are my screwdrivers bent? Should probably stop using them as pry bars. You shouldn't have did that, you did the boy. came off nicely I screwed in the spark plugs because um, this whole dome is actually an insert here so if I actually start unthreading that it actually loosens it up and there you can go and this this whole thing uh, wobbles around because these are actually interchangeable because the cylinder head fits a couple of different things we're into our motor uh, we could reuse them if we had to I'll probably just order a new kit this piston's at the top of its stroke. I can give the clutch a turn. And there you can see, you see how it's going on. Okay, moment of truth time. If this is a big bore, we're gonna be looking for a bore diameter of about 85 millimeters, which is actually the same size as the M8s, and it will use M8 pistons. If not, it'll be closer to 80 mils, and we'll have a 700 done up race motor on our hands. All right, let's zero this bad boy. So there we go. There's our number. That's going to be a 85 millimeter big bore 800. There's not even any sense in measuring this one, but we'll do it just for funsies. Did we get that? Is that what we got? So I did some reading before I tore into this today here. As configured, if this were a 700, we'd have approximately 155 horsepower, but this being an 800 big bore, with the pipes, with the tuner, with everything that's done to it, we're actually looking at 180 horsepower engine sitting right here. The way it's configured is about 180 horse, or at least that's what we can crank it up to anyway with the controller once we get into that. Put a three inch track on this and this thing would probably lay a whooping on even Mighty Whitey. I'm just gonna stick this gasket back in there. I'm not gonna put the head back on. We'll order a new gasket kit for it. I will order the head gasket kit. We'll put it back together. The goal today was figure out what this sled even was. Next video on this thing, we will... Actually, I don't even know what we're gonna do next video. I've been having tons of fun with these videos lately, just rebuilding sleds and having our projects for the summer and it gives us something to rip around on in the winter too. And that today, we basically found out that this sled was basically as done up as it could be short of a turbo. Next video, eh, we'll probably be back onto this. Figure out maybe some spark or like, I, I don't even really know where to start on this, but guaranteed we will get it running. It's actually kind of nice having you skidoo guys come out of the woodwork a little bit on this. I have learned a bunch about this sled since posting that last video. And I think it's been modded Pretty heavily on this one all I can tell you is that the VIN stamp and the VIN information plate lines up to it being a 94 and uh, I, I know believe me there's, there's a lot of things that don't match up to that uh, links sponsors Sean Instagram discord check it out I remember to womp it haven't done that in a while womp it see you in the next video did you guys find me an exciter did you find it What are you? What do you got? Oh, you got steak!